Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the best LC-10 class setup in Rebirth right now. The LC-10 is a lot of fun to use, it's probably one of the best guns in the game right now in terms of both Verdansk and Rebirth. But I'm going to show you guys the best LC-10 class setup to use in Rebirth. I had a lot of fun with this yesterday, I was playing on stream. If you guys have noticed, I'm posting a lot more Rebirth content. I'm enjoying Rebirth a lot more, I've not really played it much before. But since I've been so bored of Verdansk and it's really starting to get on my nerves, I don't really want to play it that much anymore. I'm playing a lot of Rebirth, I'm having so much fun with it, it's just so much more fast paced, it's so so much more kills to be had and it's just a lot of fun to have so i'm going to show you guys the attachments we do run on this lc10 class up and then show you guys a bunch of clips at the end of the video so you can check out how the gun does play in the game but quickly before we do jump into the video guys if you are new around here be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turn on we've just smashed past 10k i want to keep going as hard as we can try and hit 15k as soon as possible so if you guys can help us do that that'd be absolutely amazing if you do enjoy the video please do smash big thumbs up guys as it really really does help me out also let me know your thoughts on this lc10 class up in the comments below but i'm gonna jump into it like i said show you the attachments and then show you guys a bunch of clips at the end i'm gonna jump straight into it right now so some of you will know that i actually posted lc10 class setup not that long ago on verdansk however when it comes to rebirth i've slightly changed the class up just for a bit more better mobility bit of better ads time and just change it in slight little aspects where it's not going to be as shooting far away and just certain different areas but to start off with we are going for the agency suppressor on the muzzle you guys will know i used to run the sound suppressor in verdansk i run the agency suppressor in rebirth it's going to obviously take off the radar when you are shooting which is great to have because one you're on such a small map anyway the last thing you need to be doing is popping up on people's radars because you will get pushed in rebirth it's going to help control that vertical recoil control allowing you to be more accurate with the gun so if people are a little bit further away you can still hit those shots be accurate with them and take them out of the game to increase the bullet velocity which means the bullet's going to carry that damage all the way through there's been no bullet drop off and it's going to make the gun nice and accurate so wherever you are adsing and shooting that's exactly where the bullets are going and it's going to increase that effective damage range allowing you to win those mid-range gunfights if you do get into them this and the recoil control that's going to have with this lc10 is going to allow you to win those mid-range gunfights so if you do get caught in a situation where you've not got your ar out and someone's a little bit further away than what you'd normally shoot of an smg you can still take them out of the game with this lc tank it is very accurate in terms of the barrel guys i actually used to run the reinforced heavy for the effective damage range and bullet velocity but in this time i actually because of rebirth like i said it's a bit more mobile you need to be a bit faster i actually went for the task force because of the fact it adds that extra stray speed on as well which means you can move left and right faster in a gunfight make it a lot harder for an enemy to track you and like we said just a moment ago, that's going to help you win those mid-range gunfights when you do get into them. And the bullet velocity, once again, it means the bullets aren't going to drop off and it's going to carry that damage all the way through. So when it comes to the stock, guys, I go for the SAS Combat Stock, which will help increase that firing movement speed, which means while you are ADS and firing, you can move around the map faster, you can move left and right faster. Like I just said, it's going to make it a lot harder for the enemies to be able to track you. You're going to be in a better position to win the gunfights because you're having an advantage over the enemy. They're not going to track you as easy as you could track them. So just increase the aim walking movement speed, which once again, whilst you are radius, if you know someone's around the corner, it means you can actually get to them pretty quickly rather than just slowing yourself all the way down and having to play really slow and cautiously. And this also going to help increase that ADS firing move speed. Once again, ties into that firing move speed. It means you can just strafe left and right a lot faster in a gunfight, making you a lot harder to hit from your enemies. So guys, when it comes to the underbarrel, I am going for the field agent grip, which can help increase that horizontal and vertical recoil control. As I spoke about earlier, because this gun has such good recoil control, you can be very accurate with the gun. You are going to be able to win those mid-range gunfights. It makes it so easy to do that. Gun hardly moves at any sort of range anyway. So if you can control recoil yourself, they're going to absolutely fry people with this gun. And I promise you, up close, it's going to actually eliminate people. And at mid-range, it's going to have a good time to kill. It's going to be able to kill people at mid-range as well. So definitely, if you do get yourself caught in a situation where you've not got your AR out and you weren't quite prepared, for a mid-range gunfight but you've got the lc10 out you will still be able to win that gunfight especially if you can just move left and right a bit faster like we said with that extra straight speed you should be able to wipe people out the game pretty quickly and finally guys i go for the 55 round magazine i don't go for the fast mag and the reason that i go for the standard 55s not the fast mags is because the fast mags take away from the ads speed and the mobility too much for my liking i can feel the difference if you guys can't feel the difference and you want to go for the fast mags you do you you put the fast mags on i just prefer the 55s i just find it's a bit better mobility bit better ads speed and it just feels a lot better in general but guys here is a full overlook at the class if you want to pause it now go make it in your game go and do that it's a really really fun class to use guys i definitely recommend giving it a go if you haven't already this best lc10 class out for rebirth is genuinely so much fun it absolutely fries people in rebirth as well i can't lie it's such a such a good gun if you're up close if you're like i said at mid-range you can still win those gunfights close range though it's going to absolutely fry people there's not many guns that are beating this lc10 so i definitely would recommend giving it a go if you have skipped to this part of the video guys make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on if you have enjoyed the video please do smash big thumbs up as it really really does help me out and let me know your thoughts on this lc10 class up in the comments below if you guys want to check out my twitch link or my other social medias or any of my other channels all my links will be in the description you guys can go and check them out that'd be absolutely amazing i appreciate it, guys watching to end i'm gonna show you some clips now we'll catch you in the next one in a bit peace
He left the no, game. No, I didn't. No, he self. I forgot about self revive, bro. These kids are so bad. Oh no, oh, man. Oh, Jack's out of his thing. Uh, any viewer games today? No. And now, never mind. <laughs> Fuck your camper. Oh. Woman's out, huh? Put some of the cuckoos there. Hello, hello. Nice. Above me. Oh, I took my hand off the fucking mo- Be advised, UAV is being off you. As soon as I get a bit of a better angle. Oh no! <laughs> Is it yours? Did you pick it up? Pick it up. I killed him a bit, so I thought why not? He had to kill me a bit. Wolf's done for me there as well, well, let's go. It's on the floor, the word is on. Fuck, did you say to me? You some blades, Sarah? Yeah, mate, there's a kid with a straight sweeper in this building. Yes! <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going. There's like two underneath you right now. Shit, you killed me. Oh, I broke my legs. I broke oh, my legs. stinger. There's two of them on me, I think. I'm coming now, bro. I'm watching over, but I can't see anybody, bro. They're inside, no, I think. One's below me. Yeah, I'm getting shot in the back as well. Oh, he's almost been pissed on. Two of them in there. One's one shot. I got sniped in the back as well. I'm buying another two. One down on. Nice. A94 kind of hitting. Oh, that weren't bad damage. Friendly UAV overhead. Who are you, Banner Boy? What you got? Foul, Ace Foul? Foul, yeah. Ace Foul, yeah. Where do I go for this? I'm, I don't swear uh, I'm driving, I'm not actually fars and shit. Yeah, there's you know kids I mean? in here, but I don't know if you want to push that or not. I, I reckon know. we'll just get out of here. Hold them. Yeah. Yeah, seen him? Yeah, the other guys are landing. They're not good. Relocated. Oh, yeah. They're actually. That one's snapping. You just got me.